Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to edit an Amazon influencer page. Let me work on the, we're going to work today on the banner and the logo. So what you want to do on your private storefront page, you are going to just hit edit profile. And from edit profile, this is the area where you'll be able to change your page title so you can change it anytime you want to and you know write whatever you want to do uh, whatever you want to put on here you can put on here and then hit save if there's something that Amazon doesn't allow they're gonna send you an email and say oh, we don't allow that if there's a banner they don't like they'll let you know oh, you need to change the banner if there's a logo that they don't like they will let you know that also so the program that I use to change and to create um, the banner and the logo is Canva. I don't know if you're familiar with it, familiar with it, but it's C-A-N-V-A, Canva. Okay, I just loaded it up right here. While you're on this page, I, I'm not going to be able to do a whole demonstration of how to use it. That's going to take a long time. So when you get to a page like this, just type in something like you want to create a banner. And... You can do that. Let me see. I will. You can try a YouTube banner because I don't know the exact size of the banner for them. I think it's 10 something by. I can't remember. I wrote it down before, but I don't remember the exact banner uh, size. So you can look this. These these selections up here are paid and free. So the ones that are paid, you see the dollar signs. That means you have to pay to use them. But there's a lot of free ones or you can just start with a blank so let's just say we're going to create a blank one and it's not going to be something hard i'm going to do it's just it's going to be something uh, rather simple and hopefully my you know computer's older and it may take a little while so i may pause sometimes to let it um, load up okay so we have uh, some of these that you can use right here just for, i'm just going to do something uh, pretty simple uh, let's just say I'm going to use this one right here. And uh, this one, I don't believe, is a paid one, so it doesn't say anything about paid on there. But if it if it's something that you can't use for free, it'll let you know when you're getting ready to download it. Let me see. You should be able to click on here. Let me see if it says anything about paying. There's a lot you can do with Canva. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch my name to Victoria... Jean and take this off delete this and I'm not going to use anything on here so I'll just delete this let's see if it's off okay I think it's off there so I'm just going to have that and then you can change the background the color of the background here and whatever you would like to use I'll leave it like that and then um, it'll save it See if I can move this thing out of the way. Okay, so it's gonna save it for you, and then you will you will download. And then I would just normally just go ahead and download it. Okay, let's just go back on Canva again. After I'm just gonna close that part off, and let's go back on Canva again. Uh, let's just say I want to create a logo. I'm just going to hit the home button on here and just say I want to create a logo. And you don't have to spend a long time, you know, creating something. It's up to you unless you have a, you know, specific design in mind. If not, you can hire somebody on like Fiverr and they can get that done for you for a reasonable rate if you need some help. But you can really create it yourself and get that done. So I'm going to, oh, let's see. Okay, that's my logo that I created there. Uh, templates. I want to go to one that is, okay, I'm just going to say create, create a design. And I'm going to do a search up here. I'm going to search. It's not showing you the search, but it's at the top of where I'm typing. I'm going to do a logo 500 by 400, 500 by 500. 
excuse me and then once that opens up we're going to go ahead and just do something real basic but you can mess around with the colors and everything like that the font and see what you like okay we have some logos here that we can use and let me see if any of these are paid these may be paid ones I'm going to see if I can use this one right here and just type in my name. I'm just going to type in, uh, just going to type in Vicky on this one and I'll delete this right here. Okay. I'm just going to leave it just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and download this and see if it's, if it's not free, it'll let me know if it's not free and see if it downloads okay so it's going to go ahead and download so we're done with that portion there we're going to come back to the Amazon page right here and now we're going to go ahead and just upload what we created it should be downloaded so I'm going to click on the banner that I want to change or make and I'm going to go look under my this one is probably under downloads yeah, I see that one. Hold on, let's see. I see. Okay, there it is. Victoria Jean. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's on here now. And you can move up and down, you know, how you want it to be. I'll just leave it like that. And I'm going to hit the save button like that. So you can see that's how it's going to look. And I'm not going to save it or anything like that, but you would save it. In, uh, maybe ugh, I don't want to save it, but. Let me see, and this one is the other download. Okay, this is right here. I put Vicky, and I'm just gonna hit save, and it's gonna be on here. I'll go ahead and save it so you can see, then I'll just come back to change it. All right, in case anyone comes to my page, at least, at least my name is up there. So I'm just gonna go back to my storefront again. And you see, there's my name on here and the logo that I just created and that's how you would do it. So use the program canva.com. It's pretty simple to use. You can practice on there. They have a free account and paid account. Uh, you can do tons of stuff with the free free account so you can stick to free. I've, I've used paid one time before you know for creating t-shirts but you don't have to use that. There's so much you can do for free. So just go ahead and try out something, see if you like it. If you want to change anything again, you just go back to edit profile and change it again. Just put it wherever, however you want to do it. Just come back and change again. Okay. All right. I think that's it for today. That's all I really wanted to show you. So if you have any questions, let me know and um, I'll do my best to help you in any way that I, I can. All right. Well, thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day.